born, his mother said, when you grow up, I know you're going to be a piece of shit. Hello, everybody. Pink Camera Magic here. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's going on in Kirby. Now, if you're not familiar with what's going on, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to have a playlist here that's going to be linked. So go ahead and check that out. I would start from the very beginning and work your way up. That way you can kind of get a better understanding as to what is going on in Kirby, Texas. Okay, so a really good friend of mine named Jack, also goes by Texas Sheepdog, was having some pretty significant issues with the Kirby, Texas Police Department. It all stems off into what we believe is retaliation. And I don't want to really get into that part now, so I will go ahead and I'll leave links, obviously. I want you to go ahead and check that out because there's a lot to uncover with that. So starting with me, I come in and I go to do a First Amendment test, something that's really super basic because I wanted to see for myself if this is a really big problem with the police station and, you know, to let you guys know and you guys see for yourself the issues. So I did that. They failed quite miserably. Come to find out it was a councilwoman who called the police initially. That councilwoman um, actually called the chief of police directly. And from what I understand, and the chief of police is the one who dispatched the officers to come out. So officers approached me as maybe as many of you may have seen the video. Then there was also a guy who popped out and also wanted me to leave basically thinking that I was a panhandler. Now, one update, this guy right here, he actually resigned a couple of days ago. Now your guess as to why he resigned is as good as mine. So until he tells somebody, then you know I guess maybe we'll never know, but he resigned a couple of days ago. After the, my first amendment test, I went and I spoke to the council. And he was on the one of the people that were that was on the council, and it was very interesting. A lot of the residents um, were very interested because they approached me afterwards and were talking to me about it. The next day, myself along with James Freeman went to the candidate meet and greet because they're having elections. So we went to the meet and greet. We wanted to talk to the candidates, talk to the people, and our results are very telling. Spoiler alert: we had the cops called on us by a candidate. So. Yeah, it was, um, it's very interesting. We talked to a couple of people, so I highly recommend that you check that out as well. After talking to the people, I've really grown to love the city of Kirby. A strong sense of community. There's a lot of residents who like to work together and solve their problems. There's a lot of small business owners, a lot of small businesses in Kirby to patronize. It's such a great city and a great community that I think, in my personal opinion, all it needs is a couple of small changes and it will make a huge difference. And those changes have to do with who's in office and the police department. There's bad corruption in the police department. And I went yesterday to court with somebody who that who I met while I was doing my first amendment test and I wanted to help him out. We spoke for a while. In fact, he was in my video as well. He was the person who was next to me and we were talking, he's from Houston and he's fighting his ticket and we we're, talking quite a bit and it was sort of a theme. We, we talked to a lot of people who were fed up with a lot of stuff that's happening in Kirby and their main gripe has to do with the police department and the policing. And I was thinking about it for a while and I'm looking around and looking at these police officers and I'm watching and observing how they, how they act. And I'm going to tell you something, you know, a tyrant's going to be a tyrant, but I just, I almost feel sorry for these cops because I feel like they're acting like they're in a dictatorship of some sort. Like, they're, they're not very community-based policing. They're very stern. They're very much order takers, I guess. And there's nothing personable about them. It, it's, it's a problem and it really needs to be addressed. So without further ado, guys, here you go. Here's the complaint process. I came to get a couple of complaint forms for yeah. police. Okay. I got those. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let me make a copy of these, okay? Perfect. Thank you. Do you know how many officers it is? Two. Okay. Perfect. Because there's a for the two officers right there. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Appreciate it. If you want to do any kind of records here, guys. 
this is how you do it and where you would go, who you would contact. Hey, can I do an open records request when you get a chance? I'm not in a hurry. I, know, I see you're doing something there. Oh, really? Can't do one here? Is it against the law to do it here? Okay, I see. I haven't been in Texas in a while. I'm going to have to check on things. PIR, public information request. Under the Texas Public Information Act, okay. TP, public... TPIA or something? They got an acronym for it or? Okay, that's that's what most of the states call them. Like like in in New York, it's called a FOIL, but it's an acronym F O I L Freedom of Information Law. So, all right, and I can submit one at any place. Uh, can I give it to any public employee, or does it have to be a specific? So in New, in New Mexico, we can give it to anybody, and if they are not the custodian of records, then it's their duty to forward it to the custodian of records. Is it the same here? Okay. Okay, and then uh, uh, the rest of it, I guess, is federal, so that's, that's the same across the board. And what I mean by the rest of it is I never write an open records request because I'm retarded, I mean disabled, and uh, I don't know how to read and write. And, and so according to ADA, uh, they have to assist me with it. So that, and that's federal. Okay, so someone at the police department by law by ADA has to help me with my open records request. Got it. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? I don't need your attitude. I'm not giving you attitude. Would okay. you understand me? What's your name? Lieutenant Brown. 
Your mother named you lieutenant? My name is lieutenant. I need an open records That's request the for the That's original the request, and then I need one so that I can get your name. Slam the door. What's that? So you slammed the door. Yeah, he did. He's, uh... <laughs> hey man, I just, uh, I, I haven't gone to your website yet. I'm gonna do it as soon as I leave Kirby here. Um, but I also wanted to let you know I'm in Kirby, and I'm dealing with this guy, Lieutenant Brown. Uh, he won't give me his first name, and uh, he says he's going to trespass me from the building, so just a heads up, man. Just wanted to let you know. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure. I'm trying to do an open records request, and I told him uh, that I'm not proficient in reading and writing, and so according to ADA, somebody's got to help me with it. Um, and, uh, and then I asked him for his name, and he tells me Lieutenant Brown, and I said, I said, what's your first name? He won't give it, and he's just being... You know, he's, he's just not cooperating with my investigation. Um, and, and, you know, that's, that's fine, but I, I uh, because I continue to ask him his first name and, and because he, he, I asked him if his mother was a lieutenant, he's just being childish, you know? And because I continue to ask for his first name, that's when he said he's going to trespass me. Uh, no, he, he went in the back to hide, I think. Uh, but I mean, it's the same thing as the last place I was at. Very polite, very, you know, look, I just need some information. I'm not trying to, you know, I'm not going to play your stupid games. I just need the information that I need. Don't give me any. Okay. I said no one said they were going to criminal trespass you. Nobody said that. You just said, or I can leave the building. Or you can leave, yeah. But on your own will, nobody said they were going to criminal trespass you. Okay. Sorry, so. Hey, what was your name again? So, per all. Hey, I'm on the phone with my lawyer right per now. All, I'm on, look, I'll talk to you as soon as I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone. You're interrupting? Well, then I'm done. I'm okay. done. Well, give me, give me the help that I need. You want to go to open request? It's on here. You have to go to the city hall. Oh, I have to go to the city hall? Yes, sir. That's what it says right here. Yeah. Speak with the city secretary. For yeah, all, 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 yeah that's, that's not how the law works, though. Sure. sure. Hey, look, 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 man. I'm okay. only here to see if you're going to obey the law. If you're not, okay. I'm just not lost. It's on here. It's on here. You have to go to city hall. Go to city hall. I can't do it. That's what it says on the form right here, sir. That's what it says on the piece of paper that you printed up? Well, what if I print up a I don't piece of that paper that says you just got that from on the door, and it's on the door again right there. It's on the door. Yeah. Oh well, he wrote it. He wrote something on a sign and put it on the door, and now he thinks it's law. I wrote something on the sign, sir. Did you see me write something on the sign? She literally came and just got that off the window. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, so could you go to if you want to open records request, you have to go. To I want to do an open records request. You have to go speak with the city secretary, sir. I want to do it here. Okay. Have a good day. All right. They won't let me do an open records request. And you know what? I got a pen. I'm going to take the piece of paper off of the door and write it on the back of the paper and slide it under the window. How about that? What's the piece of paper saying? Uh, there's two of them anyway, so you only have one. Uh, records requester police report requests. Let's see, it says speak with city secretary. Located at City Hall, uh, it's 10 cents per page. So they're just saying it, it. All the paper says is go to City Hall to do open records. Okay. No, the oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to be at City Hall uh, where you went out previously. Mm -hmm. It's going to be there. That's where Fort Lee Hall got with the go. Okay. 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 Right. You need your yeah, you need it. Okay. Go. No, right. They give you the runaround? Yeah, man. <laughs> Kirby, man. Hey, guess what this guy's name is in here? Go, go, go look through the window. You see this guy right here? See this guy? Check that out. See that guy right there? Guess what his name is, bro. Guess what his mama named him? What? Lieutenant. <laughs> when this guy was born, his mother said, when you grow up, I know you're going to be a piece of shit. So I'm going to name you oh. Lieutenant now, and that way when you grow up, you just got that name, Lieutenant. You're just a piece of shit fucking pig. So his mother knew it the day he was born. And she said, man, she looked in his eyes and she said, that's a stupid motherfucker. Let's name him, let's, let's name him Lieutenant, right? Yeah. They're like... <laughs> right. And then she put him in the dumpster when somebody found him. And, and fucking pull it, unfortunately, pull him out of the dumpster. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm oh, gonna, yeah, there. I just wanted to turn this in. It's a complaint. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, uh, thanks, Lieutenant. You know it's true. Oh, God. You know his mother took one look and said, that's a piece of shit right there. Man.